Today we're talking about the second largest holding in my portfolio and I'm going to give you the entire bull case for it. Today we are talking about dinero. Welcome back to the zero to six figure portfolio series. This is a series in which I showcase my portfolio, show you what I'm doing, what I'm trading and what I'm holding at the moment, which you can currently see on screen. Um, now things have changed a little bit from the last episode. You can actually compare that yourself. We've actually added a few alts. We've got rid of a few alts as well. Um, but generally I think the overall kind of allocation is fairly similar. Uh, there are just maybe three new alts on the screen though, which we'll talk about, um, but not in today's episode. In today's episode, what I'm going to do is talk you through the specific bull case for dinero. Now, some of you might be thinking this is a new coin in your portfolio. You never had this before. Um, I did. It was called Butterfly, uh, Redacted Cartel, um, and they had a rebrand as well as a token migration, a one-to-one -one token migration. So for every, I say one-to-one, one to, one, one to 2,000 token migration. So for every one butterfly you had, you now get 2,000 dinero tokens. Uh, and that's why I have 30,000 because I had uh, X amount of of butterfly tokens which I was able to migrate and this is staked the same way as you would stake your butterfly tokens and I'm earning some yield on it so this number should increase uh, throughout the episodes anyway what are the the main premises with the new rebrand well De Niro, as I mentioned formerly known as redacted cartel uh, are focusing on the yield elements of ethereum being staked eth and they have uh, a product called px eth uh, which has been growing quite substantially this is a liquid staking token for ethereum so you can hold px eth and you can basically earn the yield component that comes with staking ethereum but have a liquid token that you can use in the rest of DeFi. now because of the two token model that Dinero have, they're able to offer what currently is the highest yielding liquid staking token that exists in the market today. Uh, and that is currently at around 9% APY, which is significantly higher than other competitors like Lido and Rocket Pool and Frax, for example. Um, so, you know, some of you may be thinking like, what is the bull case? Well, uh, I think one of the reasons why I'm bullish is this institution DeFi. Uh, and uh, De Niro recently announced this just a couple of days ago, where for the first time ever, they've able they've been able to introduce an institution grade uh, liquid staking token called IPXE in collaboration with Galaxy and Laser Digital. And essentially, this means that accredited investors or institutional investors can now access a product that has the ETH staking yield embedded within it. For those of you who don't know, the Ethereum ETF, which is currently live right now, um, doesn't actually include it doesn't include the Ethereum staking yield component. And so this is a kind of separate product that Dinero have built in collaboration with these guys uh, to offer this product um, a com you know, compliant access to the highest yielding Ethereum stake product that exists today. Um, and I think this is incredibly bullish. I'm very, very happy about this. Um, and I think, uh, you know, this is one of your ways to bet on the growth of the Ethereum staking ecosystem, especially with institution grade adoption, which is exactly what we're seeing right here. Um, so uh, that's certainly one of the bull cases. I, I think one of the things that kind of did make it a little bit difficult when it came to, uh, you know, redacted itself, apart from the name, especially when it comes to institutions, is like the, the price element as well. And this is why I think the, the token split that they've done makes things a lot easier. Now you've got a token which um, from a from a unit buyer's perspective makes it a lot easier to buy an asset at 17 cents rather than 300 or 400 dollars which it previously was trading at um so yeah this is something that i think is really really interesting i think thirdly uh you know dinero are also producing a stable coin in the not so distant future it's something that uh, i think is worked on uh, i think it will be called pxusd but i think we'll have to wait and find out when that does go live it isn't live just yet uh but i think that when that comes another product and i assume there will be some pretty cool innovations there uh i think i expect nothing less from the guys working at dinero um i did actually write about some of the other bullet bull case as i mentioned px ETH is currently the the highest yielding lst at the moment uh when you compare the fully diluted valuation of dinero to that of other competitors let's say lido for example we've got you know 180 million fdv here but if we look at lido for example uh you know we're looking at 1.6 billion so there's like a one to nine ratio there when it comes to FTV. Uh, of course, all of the dinero tokens aren't even in circulation right now. So the actual market cap is less than this. Uh, but I think that just goes to show that there is some upside, there is some catch up trade there potentially on. And that's kind of what I'm bullish on as well. Um, 
And I think also what we're seeing with De Niro and especially with PX ETH uh, is that we're going to see more integrations within the world of DeFi. And uh, I think that is happening right now. If we go to the De Niro website, if I can spell it, um, we'll be able to see some of the different markets that are currently available. And I I, I think that we will see uh, quite a few more coming. Um, so right now, a lot of them are on Curve and Convex and some of these other uh, protocols. But I think the big one will be Aave. Getting getting APX ETH on Aave will be massive. Uh, yes, we do have it on Morpho, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I think that will be really, really interesting to see. And that's something that I'm pretty excited about. So uh, I, th I think for this reason, for this reason, for these reasons, I should say, uh, De Niro in my portfolio uh, is kind of a levered bet on ETH, uh, but also... Uh, on, on ETH staking. And I think given the fact that it's a fairly low market cap asset uh, and the innovations that we are seeing with PX ETH and of course more integration, especially with institutions, um, for me, this is a, a fairly easy buy at the moment. And uh, that, I mean, I did my buying obviously a lot earlier. Uh, I, you know, for those of you who have been following this series, I was buying uh, Butterfly during the whole of uh, possibly even 2023, I think, especially uh, on these lows, able to really get my average price down, uh, which I think is, well, if we look at the De Niro chart, um, I don't have that open anymore. The On the De Niro chart, uh, yeah, it's literally like lower than it ever has traded. I mean, this has obviously only been trading for a few days, but even if it went down 50%, I think I'd still be in profit, which just goes to show the power of dollar cost averaging in a bear market. Um, and so, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this position. Um, I think there's significant upside and you know uh, uh you know if 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 De Niro went to 1 billion uh, ftv would that be a massive surprise i don't think so but ultimately that shows that you know i've got potentially a 5x uh on the cards here no financial advice. I could be completely wrong. And, you know, uh, there could be other competitors. There are, of course, downsides. Hidden Hand, of course, being one of the core products of Redacted being Sunset has obviously been something that I was previously bullish on. Maybe we see some integration with Barachain, uh, especially because of the links that the founder Sammy has, but we'll have to wait and see. But either way, I think that's the bull case for Denera that I have anyway. Uh, and uh, I think what I would even potentially do is actually swap out some of this ETH into Denera potentially to, to grow this position, uh, especially because uh, I think Denera is essentially a levered bet on ETH as well anyway. So I think if ETH does well, Denera will certainly do well. There's no question about it, in my opinion. No financial advice, of course. Remember, I'm just a random guy on the internet don't take my word for anything don't copy trade me you'll definitely lose money as i have done in the past um so yeah this is the portfolio thirty eight thousand sixty nine dollars um and uh, yeah i think uh in the next episodes we'll talk about some of these other new assets like cloud validao uh, and aim which are the recent additions to the portfolio so stay tuned for that i'll cover them in the coming days smash the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll be back with plenty more updates in the not so distant future